Hey guys, we just want to give you guys a little update on the moo moos or the wait, moo moo cow, what do you say? The baby moo cows. The baby moo cows. <laughs> um, they're doing really good. They're on buckets right now. Uh, they are seeming extremely healthy. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to take you around for a quick little update and uh, just show you how things are going. Okay, so we got their nightly feeding all done up in the bucket. We're going to distribute it between the three buckets and take it out to them. These feedings, we might start taking the bucket out and then, yeah, take the bucket out and fill the buckets. But uh, these night feedings, we've actually been doing three quarts. And we'll probably up, I don't know, one of the other feedings up to three quarts here real soon. The cows, I'm sorry, calves are hungry. Aren't they, Jenny? They are. Are they worse than pigs? They are. <laughs> Gooby's got a loose tooth. Two. two loose tooth. Teeth. Two loose teeth. All right, so while this is still nice and warm, we're gonna go ahead and take all this out. Okay, let's go feed these heathens. Dinner. See, I usually come in with them, but yeah, right there, TJ. Nope, down. Come on, Moose. Let's get this one. Sometimes I need a little direction. There you go. You're there. And then as they start getting towards the bottom, I always tip them sideways. In fact, some of them I've even started just tipping sideways, but. Kind of what I was talking about. So I'll take this bucket and I'll tip it sideways for them at the end of it. TJ, do you want to tip this bucket sideways? Oh, mom's got it. Slurpy. Now, unfortunately, Jenny and I have been talking. We think we need to go ahead and keep them tied up. They do kind of still go after each other, but after their three quart feeding last night, Jenny, you have to watch them tonight. They weren't too interested in doing anything else. They're pretty full after the three quart feeding last night. But like I, like I had said, I think we are just starting them on three quart feedings. So right now they get right now they get two quarts twice a day. Three times a day. Two quarts twice a day, three quarts once a day. Oh yeah, no, but I mean, yes. We've been doing two quarts three times a day, so we've yes. just, last night, we upped uh, to... Three quarts at night. Three quarts at night. Help, you know, help get these starving calves through the night time. Oh, sorry, that was loud. And now, as you can see, they're not really bugging each other too much. Are you gonna poop? I know you're gonna poop all the time. He is. Somebody on the last, con or I don't know about the last, the last cow video, calf video, moo moo baby cows video. Uh, somebody said, good farmer looking at animal poop. It's a sure sign to see if they're healthy or not. Yep. Are you done? TJ, are you enjoying having the, the calves? Yeah. Okay, I win. And then we go inside, we rinse them out. We are also working on them with some calf pellets. They won't touch them tonight, not after eating three quarts, they won't. But I wanna show you this. The kids went and they collected rocks out of here so, you know, so that the calves would not trip over them and hurt themselves. But they built a wall. Uh, some animals have been digging out under there and they built a wall uh, going under there. All right, so the, so the kids decided to collect rocks uh, so that the, cow, uh, the calves don't trip over them. And they're filling this big hole under the shed with the rocks. I guess we'll see if all those rocks are moved in the morning. Something's, the li something's living in there. Boy, the wind. They built a wall uh, going under there, which is actually kind of cool. That'll actually tell us if something keeps coming in or out of there. 
but they wanted to block it off so nothing came in here and bugged the That's calves. Cute. I guess that one calf is still kind of bugging, but they're not really. Th this this is not how they act after two quarts. Oh my goodness, no. Um, do you see how they're like really starting to look like jerseys? Come here, baby. This, oh. Hi, hi, sweetie. This right here. Yes. Always, you know, kind of the. hangs down on jerseys, and I just noticed that they're, they're starting to get that more. Hi, hi, Smiley. Oh, oh, here, this is a good time to. Earlier, I took a little video of uh, me getting a back massage. Here, check that out real quick. Come on, Moo Moos. Moo Moos. Alright, so I come in here and I sit with the uh, with these calves almost every day like he that. Likes this. <laughs> He's like paralyzed. Uh the kids cleaned out their pen just um yesterday. And uh as we suspected, what they what we found it's not very light in here. What we found is that um they're not going to the bathroom much in here at all. We are not having to change this out hardly at all. Um, a little bit of maintenance, picking up um, a little bit of wet stuff, but generally speaking, they spend their time outside. They do spend, when it's dark outside, they do spend all their time in here, uh, which is perfect. Uh, they don't even spend all their time in here when it's dark. They still spend a lot of time outside, so. Where'd the number three go? Inside with you. Oh, did he? I didn't even see him. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Moo Moo. They kind of act like they want to be rambunctious. But they're full. Yes. <laughs> yes. But I am thoroughly enjoying having calves. So I didn't tell you this, so get some bottle feeders next spring. Then we're going to have bottle feeders with big cows. Well, for a little while, right? Right. So you're going to need to get your horse into shape to separate them. Well, I'm okay with that. Well, you better, you better get going on it. <laughs> he seems interested in the cows. Get, so. get uh, Tara over at... Uh, Consinity Farms. Consinity Farms to uh, to help get that all trained up. Do some cow roping lessons. Yeah, or just separating. So if we do raise these all the way to fall before taking to butcher next year, then there will be a couple months where some bottle feeders next year will be out with them in the pasture, I would think. Right. Why are you eating my food? Hi. Hi. Do you want to, are you trying to wrestle? Do you want to wrestle? Do you want to wrestle? You want to wrestle? You want to wrestle? Come on. <laughs> Come on, let's wrestle. Come on, let's do it. I keep waiting to get checked by this one. I know. I keep turning my face away from him just in case. But he's liking his scratches. Oh. Yes. Okay. 
Oh and they really like it under, yeah, right there. Yeah. Too. He licked me. <laughs> scared me. They have a rougher tongue than a cat. Yeah, it like wrapped around my arm too. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. But they are looking pretty good. <sighs> oh no, I already had a pig eat a microphone. You don't need to be eating my microphone, okay? 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 Who's gonna get more exercise, the calves or Jenny? <laughs> no, all done. Me and you guys aren't interested. <laughs> Denied. Football star right there. <laughs> He likes that corner. I've seen him in that corner a bunch. All right, guys. Just a little Moo Moo update. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, they're doing really well. Um, the weather from here on out for the next couple days is not supposed to be great. No, it's not. Four or five days of rain and stuff. And I'm sorry. Did, did you have something to say? Did you? Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Two of the moons are over there making making friends with Derby.